Hi friends, today we gonna learn about interesting yet powerful model that is Spotify Scaling Agile model with one of its components that is chapters in Agile. Friends, believe me, we are using few best practices with our client with multiple vendor setup from last three years and it's a very effective model. So friends, stay with me till end of this video, we'll explain each and every steps. In this video, we are going to cover history, what is chapter, why we need chapters, how does chapter work, define your own chapter, what is chapter backlog, chapter leaders, their role and responsibilities, how to start the chapters, and at the end, as a chapter member, what should I expect? Let's see each and every steps one by one. My name is Sunan Sharma and welcome to our YouTube channel, Career Stock. I'm a agile consultant and if you are visiting our channel, Career Stock first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. When you subscribe to this channel, you will get three benefits. The very first benefit is for your next Scrum Master project manager interviews, you will be more confident after watching real world interviews, questions and answers from large multinational companies which I am posting regularly. The second benefit is you will learn more about different exams, certifications like PMP, PSM, CSM, Skill Agile. The third benefit is you will learn a lot from videos on project management, agile methodologies, along with different frameworks like Scrum, Safe and Kanban. Friends, every single week I will upload at least one video for you so click on subscribe button right away and make sure you hit the bell icon to turn on the notification. And friends, at the end of the video, if you like my efforts, please, please hit like button. Your one like is big motivation for me. Friends, Spotify has become a popular music player company and started in 2008. Spotify company introduced this interesting model for their company. And this model is very popular in agile community. Initially, the company started with Scrum methodology when they have very fewer employees, but later on when they started to grow, they thought of scaling. Therefore, they started utilizing agile scaling in their own way. Now they have 30 different agile teams that are spread across four cities in different time zone. Friends, apart from chapters, there are other components as well, like squad, tribe, guild, trio, alliance, chief architect, but the scope of this video is only till chapters. Okay friend, so what is a chapter? So the main idea behind chapters is how to share the knowledge within the company if everybody is a member of some agile restraint, arts or different scrum teams. How is knowledge going to be spread? And what about different principles, practices, framework, expertise and tools? So you can see over here, a chapter is a kind of community. A chapter is an open group of people working for the company who have the same job role and are interested in the same topic supported by the chapter. The chapter can be based on expertise or based on topic. Some chapters are officially established and some might appear naturally as more and more people are interested in the solution of the same problem. Friends, you can see over here, we can have few chapters based on different practices. For example, DevOps chapter, chapter from Java or Ruby or chapter of developers, or you can say based on roles, chapters of scrum masters, chapters of test engineers, chapter of UX designers, chapter of system engineers. So like this, based on the role and expertise, you can divide your chapters. Now the reason is why we need chapters. Now sometimes what happens that many teams focus on different parts of product and different systems. So though as a team you are working on a big large program, but you will not know or came to know about what is happening with the different teams at their place. 
what are the different best practices which those people which they are working on especially when you are working with multiple vendor so that is a big issue the same and different problem at the same time now you might different teams might follow the same kind of problem the challenges but uh, they are trying to resolve with their own way there is no common forum where they all can come and you know think about the problem statement and the solution missing information now sometimes what happen some transition would happen from different vendor and in between the transition the important information is lost so this is a forum where you can go back and you know check with your different vendors or with the other team members who are already present at that time or or maybe the client is also there in that different meetings you, so you can have lot of opportunity to get that information missing knowledge so let's say you are just joined that particular company or group and you don't know even working on one specific tool which uh, client is using so it's very well that you can ask there that okay can someone help me with the training or something like that and it's just there no learning just doing so this is again one important thing when we are doing our day to day work sometimes we forget to learn so this is a place where you all can come together you know have a focused learning so again it's a very good example or advantage of having chapters repeated mistakes of other so the idea is why to invent the wheel if someone has already done some mistake in the past let's learn from them so whenever you share your you know challenges issues someone will be there to help you out sometimes we feel like it's just a one man battle so no one is there to care or help us so again it's a important place it's just like a community of a same like minded people no company minimum stand up of agile so you might have seen this many times that okay one team is very good following lot of processes but then other team is not that you know uh, compared to the other different teams so you can establish all the standards you know uh, you can learn from others together our voice will be stronger so it's again important thing so for example let's say all my different uh, three different vendors or then multiple teams uh, they are asking for some specific change or need so based on the input from all these people you can always go back to the client you know and you can propose some kind of solution that okay we require this thing in our you know engagement and it will very well be taken and it will be done in a no minutes friends i have seen in with my experience if client will come and say similar thing our management is very fast to act on those things okay so believe me this chapter going to be very beneficial for you if you going to start one in your company and it's not working right now so how does this chapter work so first of all this is again a cadence based uh, system so uh, though i have mentioned once per month Uh, but the idea is if you are beginning your chapter i suggest to have every fortnight or every 15 days two weeks maybe after uh, sprint is over so that's what we have done uh, we have our chapters every hour when the sprint is over so it's up to you guys but uh, normally it's once per month is enough so and people can join any anywhere so your offshore team members can also join you know they can also participate and share sometimes they have a feeling that they are left out so they can also uh, come into those forums and they can share their learnings over there and again as we have discussed the chapters are split into smaller expertise group which work on selected improvements and once that has been done so lot of poc is kind of stuff we are doing you know uh, with a different team so some ux team is there or some testing team is there so they are working on some automated tool and once that tool is uh, completed that tool has been shared among different uh, vendors or different teams multiple teams so everyone will be get benefit out of it okay so define your chapter so every chapter has some particular problem statement like what exactly they are going to do you know so to build a chapter you must first find out what defines it why it should exist for who what kind of problems are you are going to solve so that chapter must be interesting for people to participate to be a member so first of all you should define whether let's say for example a scrum master chapter so you should mention your vision what exactly this chapter is about going to do right so this is just one of the example which has pasted 
okay let's move on okay so very important thing is chapter backlog now if you see over here uh, these are the common pain points which I am sure most of the companies I am sure your company is also facing at least if not but some of them so again chapter backlog is uh, evolving over the period of time and you can see a lot of things in this for example root cause analysis different tools continuous improvement processes need to improvement feedback standards practices impediments information sharing all those things people culture there are the uh, different cultural issue as well sometimes people not understand what is happening at on site and then offshore so a lot of these kind of small small issues but they have a large impact so you can mention all those uh, things in a backlog and later on you can work on those based on the priority so again a chapter backlog is similar to our you know product backlog kind of so we have a proper chapter backlog where all our uh, issues challenges uh, things which we required everything is there in the chapter backlog Okay, the other important thing is the chapter leader. So what we are doing, so now we have three different uh, vendors. So we nominated one, one uh, you know, chapter lead from each vendor. So there should not be any kind of uh, you know, power struggle. And those three chapter leads uh, based on uh, PI, we are shuffling them. So every uh, PI, we have one chapter lead from one vendor team. And it's a different PI, we have a different uh, chapter lead. So the main goal of chapter eight is, you know, to establish a healthy community and a communication. Okay. So there are a lot of things. It's not that easy if it sounds like. So uh, as a chapter leader, you have to, you know, uh, involve with all the uh, different group members. You have to invite them. You have to share the outcome. The important thing is outcome of this chapters that can be any chapter, Scrum Master chapter or testing chapter or a java test uh, chapter any chapter the outcomes of that chapter is shared with the management both your internal management and the client management so they are also very much interested what is happening how you are going to improve what else for them okay this is like a icing on cake okay you are delivering your normal stuff but what else you are bringing to the client so all those things are come as an outcome of these chapters and which we are going to present to the customer okay so as a chapter leader you have to coordinate with different team members as a moderator you know you have to help with the transparency because a lot of vendors are participating right so it should be very clear who is doing what if let's say if you are working on some particular poc what is the deadlines etas so everyone should aware about what is happening you know so it's a very good i mean till now with my experience uh, it's a very good thing to have in your company if you don't have okay so how to start the chapter very important thing now let's say you are all are charged up and you really want to start the chapter so what are the different things which you require to start the chapter okay so first of all identify the necessity of your community uh, what will the problem statement okay and identify the possible members. So who will be my target audience? It is specific to Scrum Masters, it is specific to POs, it is specific to any technology related. So identify those uh, community and those target members. Organize the first meetup. So in very first meetup is this very formal uh, meetup where you can you know share your ideas, take the ideas from others, you know. So organize your first meetup. Think about the community name. Yeah, you can give them uh, some funky name to your uh, chapter, you know, something like that. Think about the objectives. So please jot it down some of the top three objectives, like what you are going to achieve and uh, the elevator statement, you know. And because these things are you need to uh, share with the client that, okay, these are my objective for this particular chapter. This is what we are going to achieve out of it. Okay. The other important thing is mailing list what will be your communication uh, channel if someone has to communicate with you is a skype a slack channel or whatever define all those things Ma make one mailing list and make sure that one member from client or one member from your higher management 
is also part of that mailing list so they should also get you know updates timely updates invite other people into community as and when you require you can have free field to bring your rts or any other product managers or you know agile coaches whatever you can invite other people based on your need and requirement write down and continuous update your web pages where anybody can find information yeah so in our case we have web pages but it's up to you it's not a mandatory thing the important thing is the continuous update that's the key so people should know that okay this chapter is there and they are working on you know some particular items and we will also get benefit out of it so please keep feeding the important updates to all the stakeholders within the company other vendors and your client Groom the first themes and put them into community backlog. Yeah, you all people can come and you know uh, jot it down all your pain points and with the based of three dot voting technique or any technique you can just prioritize that and you can start you know working on that. Agree on meetup dates. Again, very important. Sometimes in real world challenges issues, it's always happened that some clashes will be there you know some other meetings will crop up and people will not come up so ensure that either this will happen on that day when you don't have any other different meetings sprint plannings or retrospectives or something like that so have it in between all those you know uh, ceremonies if possible have it after maybe like friday evening kind of thing where you can also have some kind of snacks beers something like that you know make it more interesting so that people will come and join so meet meet and meet again yeah that's the important thing you know everyone should meet uh, even if you don't have time as i have mentioned you please go there try to be there you know your presence will also very important over there sometimes you don't have anything to say but again you will learn from someone else what is happening in their area you know so i always try to be there you know i never miss these uh, chapter uh, meetings at least you know till now so yeah friends this is how you can start your uh, chapter and friends please feel free to ask me any other you know things if i have missed uh, till now and you know, if you have any doubts or something like that please feel ask me post in comments you know i will um, very much happy to give you the answer yeah so as a chapter member what should i expect so this is the question uh, which everyone should ask themselves okay the very first thing is active participation so this chapter is a live, you know, uh, so we require the people which are, who are you know, full of energy, who full of ideas. Sometimes we don't have any forum. Maybe we have some idea suggestions, but we sometimes feel like oh, our management is not going to listen or our client is not going to listen. So as this is very and in the beginning also I made one point that if we go collectively as a voice, definitely the people will going to hurt you. OK, so. So if you have any kind of suggestion ideas, we really want to do some changes in your project, you know, please come over here. There is a lot about, it's not only about individual, it's all about community. So please come participate in sessions, provide different ideas to chapter backlogs, vote for the ideas that need to be explained, solved, actively participate in the solution of ideas to validate the solution with the squad, if knowledge and look for new approaches, which can help squad and company stay innovative to publish ideas as blog posts, webinars, if you are interested in simply to share the knowledge. So as an individual member, you will get a lot of benefits if you will be a part of any chapters. Friends, I am sure you have enjoyed and learned something new today from this video. Please do not forget to click and uh, this red subscribe button and a big like. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos. Have a nice day.